No sound, buddy. <laughs> oh. Uh, what is this, oh. man? They were singing happy birthday. You oh, what, yeah, oh. no sound. But what are I just oh, seeing guys yeah. in, in their jock straps here? What's going oh, on? Oh, that is oh. awkward. Wow. They were singing happy birthday. <laughs> I oh, love it. <laughs> you at me. Well, I have to say, you're not laughing now, are you? <laughs> oh man, I had it all planned that we're going to take the under the underwear off for you, and oh, that right. happened, right? well, thank goodness that didn't happen. <laughs> Shaldina, happy birthday, brother! Thank you, buddy. Thank you. It's quite oh, a. Great yeah, I think it's similar to how you felt the other day. It's quite a humbling day. I think reality sort of hits. It's been quite a year, but I think it's been a fantastic year. Look, I think it. Uh, I think you should be grateful for everything that you've had this year, and I think you should um, be grateful highly. that you've dis- that you've discovered crypto at such an early stage in your life. Uh, like everybody else on the stream, like you should be super grateful that you discovered crypto at the age of twenty five or twenty four or however old you were. Um, and not when you were 60 or 70, because like, what a great time to be alive. And now you've got this whole road ahead of you. And I think you'll be a billionaire by the time you're 27. So it's going to be amazing. <laughs> it's amazing, but it's, it's, it's quite, you know, I was thinking about it uh, one year ago, I was broke. <laughs> I had the idea of sharing Less. a vision or this, not even, Less. no, it's literally, it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, a, it's, it's not even a year. Ago. Yeah. It's not even a year yet of my dad. So it's crazy how everything has just absolutely exploded. So uh, it's humbling, and I think it's an amazing thing for us to to by leading by example as well, and just giving that that strength for the community. Guys, we do this every day because we give a crap about everyone, and uh, I think it's amazing to see how quick we can actually change things. So, Ran, I haven't amazing. said it enough, buddy. Thank you for everything. No, bro. Thank you, and thank you for joining us on this amazing journey uh, for uh, sharing. Uh, changing lives every single day uh, it's been amazing and i think we've only just we're only just getting started and i think the one thing that we've both learned together is it's actually it's not about money and it's it's just about having fun and changing lives that's all it's about and i wish you another another year of uh changing lives every single day my brother thank you buddy another 20 years just tell, tell the community that we've just gotten started like this is we nothing just, we've only just, just started. Just started. <laughs> all right speaking of getting started let's get out of bed let's go Hey, Get hey, out of bed. Back. Let's go. <laughs> All right, let's look at what the are we thinking, bud? On? Ethereum waking up, showing some life in it. You know, it's finally, you know, I've been sitting with this Ethereum Bitcoin pair, uh, <clears throat> as well as the Ethereum dominance, just waiting for that bounce chart wise. We knew it was coming. Uh, and I could see now, as well, uh, as long as Bitcoin is holding 200 day moving average, uh, the alts are going crazy. You know, that dominance is tanking, and uh, it's quite scary. I'm going to go through it now on these next two levels if dominance drops what's actually gonna what can happen to the alts the main thing is guys you know ethereum leader of the alts not to say it's going to be the best performer as long as ethereum is showing good strength in the market it sets a good foundation for the alts and we can see how the whole market even though bitcoin is absolutely doing nothing very boring right now we are still getting the explosion from the alts so at least we know the confidence is still in Uh, i'm very happy that ethereum's woken up uh because 
let me show you guys what's coming up now so you know ethereum broke out of this big daily wedge um this is why guys just in a bull season just learn flags flags are fantastic breakout flags are really really a good strategy to be using um and you can see the next we basically 37 to 38 is a big resistance after that but it, you know it's the 4000 44 again and then i see all-time highs i still see ethereum yeah, all-time high all -time september uh, and then October, like we said, Bitcoin all-time high. So Ethereum to break all-time high first before Bitcoin, definitely. All righty, amazing. Well, anyway, anyway, for the new people who are uh, new to our channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, subscribe to our channel, smash the like button, give us some love. It is Sheldino's birthday today. Uh, join us on this incredible, amazing, beautiful journey that we're on, making, changing people's lives. Um, I really think that this whole community needs to be able to retire after this bull market. Also, join us on our other channel, Microdose. If you go to the description of the YouTube channel, there is a, li a link to our new channel called Microdose. Click on it because that is where we give you guys 10 minutes of crypto content every single day, as and when it happens, um, not at a scheduled time. And last night, Sheldon did an amazing show. Um, and if you watched that show, you would have been up in the money already. That's the, that's the sad part. If you didn't watch the show, you kind of lost money. Um, also, today on the show, we are giving away... matrix swap each matrix swap nft has 200 dollars worth of matrix swap uh, ido tokens we only start giving those away at 5,000 likes so no 5,000 likes we don't give those away um big 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 show later today i'm going to show you guys how ethereum is going to get to fred what level was it say again what, yeah, yeah, yeah. what level was ethereum getting to we, we later on in the show we're going to be discussing like the new the new level for ethereum mm -hmm. this year Ooh, it's a lot higher than all of us thought. A twenty thousand dollar prediction in Q four, each step of the way. We're going to talk about it. No ways. Okay, well that's what we're going to be doing later. Today. <laughs> uh, and then also we're going to degen on the show. So we've got a whole lot of degens to talk about. Uh, one which I spoke about yesterday. I think it's going to actually have. A, I, I was watching it. I think it might actually have a little bit of a bounce. Um, cool, Shaldino, kick it off. Let's go, brother. Let's do it, buddy. Um, so yeah, guys, closing off with, with Ethereum. Yeah, I am seeing a push from here, going to about three seven to the three nine area. Uh, I do think we're going to smash through it. Um, Bitcoin, you know, end of the day, it's quite simple. Uh, dominance is collapsing. You can see we're getting a really strong push. Uh, we are getting to a support zone, which is around forty one. Um, you know, double uh, bottom anywhere in these sort of levels, and then we got the main bottom that we made. When we started this whole little alt run in the last year, uh, the exciting part, guys, is you know if we break this level, these downwards levels, you know we're going to the all-time low of Bitcoin dominance. So, and I think with the momentum that we're getting in the market right now, especially looking at the Ethereum dominance, you know this on a weekly has only just started. Ethereum dominance to twenty-five percent is my next target. So, so, so that's big. Now, if Bitcoin dominance now falls down to let's say. 38 somewhere in that region and ethereum goes up to 25 you know it's starting to close the gap a little bit and, and it's at least we know by ethereum leading by example it's setting a good thing for the alts and ran i'm still in a massive you know i'm still in the belief that bitcoin's going to end this bull run not the alts i'm still very much in mm. that i think the alts are going to start the whole bull run they're going to do everything crazy i won't be surprised to see a ten thousand dollar ethereum i won't be surprised with those and then I think the ultimate run from Bitcoin happens. It's just things are happening different this time. You know, the fact that that dominance. You know what? You might be right. You might be right. I think at the end of this bull run, what could happen is that people will say, okay, this thing's collapsing. It's overheated. It's overhyped. And then they might decide, okay, where, where are we going to put our money now? Are we going to put our money into the US dollar, which is US dollar piece of shitcoin? Or are we going to put our money into gold, which is heavy? and yellow and shit and or are they going to put their money into bitcoin and i think it could just happen that all the money just goes back into bitcoin and well, i think, think that of it as a normal alt. yeah think of it as a normal thing Ren. what's the better outcome for bitcoin my opinion is the alt running first because it brings the massive money into the market now they can fuel bitcoin to the levels they want to get to if we want a two hundred thousand dollar or one hundred fifty thousand dollar bitcoin it's not just going to happen easily you know right now by the NFTs and all the alts coming in, I believe the, the the FOMO of that will bring in more money than just Bitcoin running solo right now. I really think so, all the alts go for it. You know what I did yesterday? 
I did a very, very, very interesting exercise, which I don't think many people have done, but I did it. I went through all the YouTube channels and I took the views on the YouTube channels and then I took the price of Bitcoin. And what I realized was that for me is an indicator of whether we're entering the top of a bull market. Why? Because yeah. if the views explode, it means all the newbies are coming into crypto. So I'll remind you, before we had the last correction on our channel, we were getting 150 to 200,000 views per show. Remember, our views just exploded. And, then, and then all the riffraff got knocked out. And then there were 60,000, uh, 70,000 people left. And now we're climbing again back towards 100 per, per, per thing, which shows me that we're not near the end of this market cycle. Sorry, Mark. I think we've only just back. started. No, 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 no. All good. I think we've just started. Exactly that. What I am happy about, though, is we had 60,000 warriors at the end of that uh, uh, sort of bear cycle that we fought through. And now I'm sure the guys that stuck through, you know, a lot of people entered at the highs. We then went through the bear cycle together. And I think this time around, you're enjoying it a lot more because you actually understand, you know, when this bull cycle comes, like everyone forgets how much money you can make in this market. You know, yes, it goes up and down, but over time, this market has always gone up. And, and it's, and it's going to continue as long as adoption and everything keeps to flow. So where are we looking at? I think share the screen here. I do have one thing quickly to show Ran, uh, if he doesn't mind. Like I'm just having a look at the, the Solana Ethereum chart. Uh, and just by holding a little bit of Ethereum, you know, I made an extra 21% Solana the last day. So I'm pretty, pretty, pretty happy with that. <laughs> um, but, but that's good. And, you know, guys, this is why it's important just to understand the different charts. As, argue, as well as the, You're too good. <laughs> I can't argue. I, can't, I, uh, I eat my words. <laughs> That's amazing, buddy. You know, this is why it's important just to understand these little things. You know, if you see it, one coin is pumping, like especially to ETH, I still think growth-wise, Solana, I absolutely outperform Ethereum in the bigger picture. It's about at what price do I want to pay that Solana? You know what I mean? When do I want to buy it? And right now, the better buy for me was just ETH for a bit. And I'm still planning to get back into my Solana. Um, but then at least Don't have a look here. I'll have sniper. another. <laughs> Don't argue with a sniper. <laughs> Fuck, I've learned that lesson so many times. I learned it the last time I bought Solana when you told me, Don't buy at 42, wait for 32. A week later, it was at 32. Um, <laughs> I'm learning it again now. Uh, it's amazing. But, and this is why the fundamentals and then the, and the, the, I still believe you need to have basic skills in both. Because it just helps you understand a bit of the things. And same with this now, looking at the Solana ETH, uh, you know, we have broken trend. So it's showing me it's definitely ETH time right now. And it's very possible that this can make its way back down to these sort of regions over here. So, you know, by holding a bit of ETH, I'm still going to be going back into Solana at some point, but I'm still looking for another 10 to 50% um, outperforming or ETH outperforming Solana. And then I'll start getting back into it. And if we start having a look at the actual Solana charts, and see where we're sitting. You know, it hits the 2618 smack on. It literally went just above, but you know, it, it hits it beautifully. It may hover in this range. It may even go up in this range. Of course it is. I just wanted to see what was going to perform a bit better. And it's very tough for me, just especially like getting emotion out, getting fundamentals out, getting everything out the thing. As a TA guy, to be buying the, the, the pump like this, I'm sort of going against my rules. So meaning that Solana's not in the buy yet. I really want this coin. Um, but I'm going to wait very patiently for support push uh, or I'm going to be in ETH for now. And once I've made enough Solana and I'm happy with it, remember, guys, taking profits is quite simple. Everyone asks TP zones. Where do I take profits? Are you happy? Like you've just made 20 percent. Are you happy? Yes, you're happy. Take profits. Turn it into something that you want to hold for the next year. Like it's very simple. Stop trying to think, where should I take profits? Set your goal. You make 50 percent. You know, that little small thing yesterday, Solana, it's made you 20 percent more uh, Solana just by holding ETH. And that's just the power of understanding what we're trading. So just to go back quickly to, to the uh, Ethereum dominance, because this has only just started taking off the Ethereum dominance. So this going to the 25 and uh, you know, possibly Bitcoin going to the 35. You know, we're going to see a rampage of alts. And then I see the blow off top for Bitcoin coming after that. And looking at the USDT. You know, I, this is what I want us to drop. And if Bitcoin drops the, the, the dominance of the 40 level, the 40% level, I see the USDT dropping this. And, and then you know we're going to have a massive rampage. Go for it. If, if, uh, if Ethereum breaks, logically, the next one that breaks is Matic. So logically, mm -hmm. Matic should be breaking. Check the, then, then go look at the Matic chart. 
So Matic is one of the ones, guys. This is the one, you know, like it, for now, Phantom is, you know, it's pumped. I'm going to be a bit patient for, for Phantom. I'm going to be a bit patient for Luna. I'm going to be a bit patient for Solana. Doesn't mean I'm buying it. I just want to pay my rate for it. I want to buy it at the right price. So for now, looking at the other ones, the other great coins that are out there, definitely Matic. Now, Matic, let it just load up. There we go. While now, it's this loading, is a good I chart. was watching your, I was watching you. So I didn't, I didn't get to watch your show live last night. Um, but I okay. watched uh, before that. I was watching you update the charts on Coin Panel, and I realized, I realized the power of this Coin Panel because I I knew exactly what you were going to talk about. It was all on the Coin Panel. All of it was on. The coin panel. <laughs> <laughs> That's where the preparation gets done. So that's a little hint, a bit earlier of what's there. Uh, Matic, guys, this is good. And obviously, look at Matic. The last thing that I just want to see. Uh, and this is where these sort of flags and things, but you can see that Matic's at right at the point of breakout now. So we're on support, we're holding 200 day moving average, and we're at the point to break out. And I am seeing a $2 Matic quite quick. So Matic is one, um, I'm patient for the others, but this is one that I am seeing exploding quite quick. And it was actually great to see yesterday, a lot of the coins started Kusama, and come on, you know, we got Kusama beautifully. I think that thing's well on its way. Um, and if we see, you know, next targets for Kusama, 500 to 550, just short term, you know, this can be an entry that can hold you all the way to a thousand, two thousand dollar Kusama. Uh, do you think a thousand five hundred dollar Kusama's in the play here, Ren? The next few months, um, five X. Next few months, yes. Next few months, not 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 in the next month. Call in it this bull months, cycle. Yes. Let call it this bull run. Yes, do yes. You easy, see it topping easy, up. Yeah. There. I, show, I showed it to you yesterday. Remember, I showed mm -hmm. you how the Kusama are just getting locked up and locked up. There's one point five or one point six million Kusama locked up in his in his crowd loan auctions. I mean, that's 15% of the total supply is already locked up forever or for the next 48 weeks in crowd loan auctions. It's crazy, crazy shit. That's huge. And then the chart showing a big push coming, definitely. Uh, let this load up. Why is it taking its time? So I'm just reloading that. Uh, while I am doing that, you know, so Dot had a good push. I really think, feel like Dot. Sorry, guys, while I'm waiting for Coin Panel to load up there, um, I'm just going to continue here. So, Dot, beautiful breakout. So, you see what I just said with Matic now, where we add, add a support and we're about to break out a trend. Do you see what happens when we break out a trend? So, now we finally start getting volume. And now we can see there's really volume starting to back Dot now. So, Dot's big. Uh, we've just cracked through all the resistances over here. So, for those guys, you know, I'm putting my stop loss around 25 under support quite easy. And I am seeing Dot go to 40 $45 from here. So great entry on that one. Uh, one that's still possibly available if we do get a retest is Uni. Uni is starting to wake up. Volume is starting to increase. So, so Uni is looking good as well. Um, you know, even though they're larger caps for now, you know, there are big movers in the market. And there's, there's a bit of smaller movers in the market. The problem is the big movers in the market have already moved. They've already done like two, 300, 400%. So I'm looking for, for some coins now. Make me some gains. When those ones aren't special, I'm then going to go back to those. So uni is one because I do see it going to 38 to the $42 sort of region after this. Uh, I saw Chainlink started waking up. It's very close, guys. So this one, there's no actual support buy right now, but here's the daily trend. And we can see that volume just started to increase yesterday, and we had a very close view where it can happen today. Uh, the breakout of link. So link breaking $28 anywhere in that region is a definite daily buy, investment buy for me. Uh, $35, $40, and $47 on my next sort of target. So link I still feels a lagging, and I think it will have a good 20, 30, 40% pump in the next week or two. I'll see Ruin. See you guys, you've got to buy support buyers. Be patient. As soon as we start moving away from our line, just know at some point we're going to come test our line again. And there's the trend by the break. There we go. So ruin again on the uh, microdose. Make sure you guys are on there, guys. That's where quick calls are coming. We, we spoke about this last night. And now we're sitting in a good 12% profit just from yesterday already. So if you're not, if you're not following microdose, if you're not following microdose, and if you're not following um, coin, if you're not subscribed to coin panel, you're going to make less money in this bull market because the market moves quick. And those are the only two platforms that we have to update you guys. Microdose, we do a 10 minute show every time something happens. Coin panel gets updated every time Sheldon updates the charts. You're not on those. You can subscribe to both of them. There are links in the in the description. There, there are links to both of them in the description. We can't do more than we've done. We've given it to you guys. 
It's a tool for your job. Do you go and if you're a handyman, you go fix things. Do you buy a, a crappy little drill or do you buy the right one to do the work? It's yeah, just a tool to for you to make money. Know. See if it's loaded up there now. Okay, great, cool. Uh, watch list mode. There we go. Okay, cool. What is I on there? What is I on? Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. So Phantom, I'm going to quickly go through that. And then, so Link is still a big one for me today, guys. Matic is a big one. They haven't moved just yet. We got the dot explosion yesterday. We got a good uni explosion yesterday. I think Matic's going to be one of the big ones that break early today. We got a great ruin entry as well. Ruin, sorry, not ruin. Um, <laughs> and I can see uh, FTM, guys. Massive explosion. Hold tight. You know what I mean? A good... 40, 40, one cent stop loss. You know, it's a, you are just putting that in case there's a market collapse anywhere. Um, but right now, this is big. And I do see Phantom, you know, the way we did the, 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 the little tool, and this is going to help you guys very much on when you're buying these coins. Uh, same thing with the FIB tool, taking from top to bottom. You can see how Solana did it beautifully. $1.5 1 next target for, for FDM over the next month or two. So that's a good one. So. Hold that on tight. We'll talk again. Uh, definitely so. looks good. Um, that's looking good. I went through uni. FTT. FTT after the big news yesterday. FTT after the, the, the big news yesterday. Yeah, let's have a look. Let's see, sometimes. You know, while it's, guys, while here it's we going, go. Here we go. Here we go. Vet, guys. Vet. That's a bull flag breakout. This is what you want to catch. So vets for other if you're if you're not a long-term lover of vets, cool. You know, it's a it's a nice trade to make you some cash. If you are, obviously, this is a really good investment entry because I am seeing from here going to about 20 cents to the 23 cents sort of region for the next push. So uh, having a look, even if I take the small little phobia and we slap a fib on it, uh, as uh, Mr. Fibonacci Lee and Rudo say, you know, from here I am seeing next level 17 cents all the way to 20 cents. So uh, this is looking good. Vets, definitely one of the trades for today. Uh, what are you talking I about, heard about that, FTT? Uh, I heard that I heard Fibonacci Lee and uh, Rudo are uh, starting a channel, a YouTube channel. So we must... They uh, are, but so, so they're working on it. When they launch, we're definitely going to... Yeah, we must help them. We must help them and get all our subscribers onto their channel. Amazing. We'll support them. And uh, the main thing is, guys, there's so many sources out there. Use the right ones and just make damn money. Just, just retire from the stuff. The money's there to be made. So FTT is also forming a nice flag. Uh, I would like to see it break that resistance. But, you know, same thing. It's quite scary on where this can go next. Uh, daily stochastic is only just crossed to the bottom. Uh, and if I take the FIB again to the levels that we wanted to get to, Ninety dollars next target for, for for FTT, so definitely a good one as well. I'll just wait for the break of resistance on that as well. So they're all looking good. I think it's not too much to add. You know, Matic, Kusama's a bit gone for now. Be a bit patient. Matic and Link are my two favorites for today, and Vet, definitely. Um, I think I agree with you very much on Matic. Link's been a bit of a, a bit of a disappointment. Like it's never moved. It has. It, ha it's it been has. It has. You know, disappointment. Like a year ago, it was moving. It would do a random 30, 40, 50% pump at any time. Uh, and I think it might come again. That's why I sort of be patient with these because all of a sudden you just see this coin explode. Exactly what uh, are we even all of them been doing? So I still think Link's a big player. Don't you think, Ren? I still think Link's a big one. It's a huge player, but it just doesn't move. Um, you know what I am looking at? These are D so let's degen, degen. Remember, guys, degen is like 1% oh. of your portfolio. 1% of your portfolio. Yes, what, what are we going to say? Last one is XRP. I still still have the tinglies. Come on, Charlie. Today's the day. There we go. Today's the day. There we go. Today's we are day. breaking daily Shalina. on now XRP. XRP, XRP. Shalina, XRP. I also have a question. Is is there by any chance a cup and handle on the ETH BTC chart on the weekly? Possibly. Let's have a look. Wow, that's deep, bro. See how clever that's Fred's deep. got in there. Eh? Got him very, very, very clever. Let's have a look. Zoom out, zoom out, zoom out, zoom out. Let's clean up the chart. There we go. It is. Yeah, there is a cup and handle. You are one hundred percent correct, Freddie. Cup and handle on on the. So if we take this. Thank you, sir. <laughs> so beautiful cup, as you can see, beautiful cup handle explosion. I'm very bullish on ETH, though. Just chart wise, it looks really, really good. Let's degen, buddy. Wow. Let's degen. All right, let's degen. Um. Okay, so yesterday, okay, no, before that, Rari Governance Token, RGT. I want you to have a look at that. RGT. Let's have a look. It's a DeFi play, uh, a very good DeFi play. 
Rari governance token. Is it? Um... It, it had a small run. I bought in at fourteen bucks a while a while back, um, and I'm, I've been holding it. I can get a chair. RGT. There, there we go. go. Rari Perfect. governance token. Great. Let's have a look. Where do you, where do you get this, Ran? Is it on only on Bitrex? Uni Swap, Sushi on Swap. Uni, uni Sushi. Okay, great. Orders. Let's have a look. Sure. Just right at the bottom. It's literally at the bottom from massive moves. Jeez, this thing's been fifty dollars before. Even before that yes. was seventy dollars. So small part of portfolios got, is it, good. Then you got hacked, and then it got hacked, and now it's recovering. So I like this one a lot. I Remember, Rune got hacked, eh? Huh? Have a look at that. <laughs> so, you, so, no, when a protocol gets hacked, we buy. We buy. We buy. Special, uh, special, special. The other one that I, I've been telling the community to buy since 30 or $40 is Tornado Cash. It's back up at 83 I, I wonder if it's still a buy. Let's have a look. 81 Yeah, it's just coming out of that zone. So remember, this is still investment-wise, it's still good. Um, I wouldn't be short-term trading this. I'd rather be buying this for investments because next target 150 and after that 190. Still good. Volumes only Still just good. come okay. in. Volumes Amazing. only just coming in. Next one, AOS. We spoke about it yesterday. Up 30%. Can I buy more? Do I buy more? Do I sell? Do I hold? What do I do? Have a look. AOS. Why is it not Rackham says, yet? the Rackham in the super chat says, tell them about Hex. Hex doesn't go down. Just, just Hex just goes up. Just, no, just say it's fine. But it's just gonna go up. How do I spell AOS? A A I O Z. A I O Z. There we go. Long moment. Should be this one. AOS Network. Thirty six cents. So yeah, it's done up well. from yesterday. So let's have a it look. Let's yesterday. make it a bit bigger. That's good. So we've just had a little push up. So I'm just letting it load. Uh, we look good. This yeah, was at like that. four dollars. Look at before. that. Yeah, look at that. So that's still very, very, very early. You're only just coming out of accumulation now, and we're breaking resistance. Yes. So that's good. Great. Yeah. Good entry. Uh, let's go. Let's go see if there's anyone in the super chats. I'm just at the same time looking to see if there are any others in my in my DGen portfolio. Hmm. Charlie looking good. Um, Donkey them, Charlie, yeah. we like all of those. Donkey Charlie, all those small ones. But these are one percent of your portfolio maximum. Mm. You know what? There may be an opportunity today in the gaming tokens. So Splinterlands, Fairlands, um, because China banned gaming. Um, oh wow! Or is, is is banning gaming from school kids? I haven't read the whole article yet, but that took the gaming ones down. So I think like. If you look at things like SPS, Splinterlands, or Faraland, uh, which is F A R A, I think F -R -A. you could buy them because yeah, what F A R. What, what happened was they restricted um, under eighteen gamers to a maximum of four hours per week of gaming. I believe they're shutting down on all of this like that. Like it's actually going to make them really fall behind. It's it's not a. Uh, a good one. What is yeah, but, Chinese don't, but Chinese don't care. Chinese don't care. Chinese don't care. Splinter you see, all the gaming right? stocks are down today. All the gaming tokens smashed. So, good opportunity mm. if you wanted to buy. This buy is a, a good time to be buying. Buy the dip. Yeah, on support. Yeah. Good now. So, this is Splinter. That's looking good. And you said Farah's. What's the ticker again? F A R A. F A R A. Fairland. That's not allowing me to find a jail yeah, even over here. No, it wasn't there. It was Farrah something. Yeah. There's another one we spoke about on Friday. It went up a lot after we spoke about it. it it's come back down. I think it's been too hard hit. But uh, again, it's highly, highly, highly speculative. That's crypto meta. The, the symbol is tech. It's a brand new token, T-E-C-H. But remember, this is... Guys, 1% of your portfolio. You don't put more than 1%. These are all degen. Yeah, we're even battling to find charts on them. It's, it's brand new. It's, uh, you wouldn't find it there. It's brand new. Honey swap. I don't even know if there's even a honey swap. I can't believe how many coins are out there now. Okay, well, I'll look for those. I can't find them right yeah. now. Okay, um, let's go Super Farm. Let's go look at Super Farm for the Super Chats. 
Oh, Doge is still a buy, guys. Investment wise, it's still a buy. Um, cool. Let's have a look at Super. Super's a, and then it's like in a accumulating sort of phase at the moment. Yeah. So it's still in my blue buy zone. So you can see there, guys. Just load up. Load up and be patient. So the market rewards patience. Look, remember where you're buying it. You literally just came out of a big accumulation phase. We've now turned that all into support, and now we are accumulating for the next move. Remember, okay. your accumulation creates your results. So I'm still waiting for a $3 uh, super farm again. Okay, let's look at uh, YGG. And we're looking at that for Travis Atta, who says he spent 100 bucks asking you to look at this. YGG. 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 What is this? Yield? Yield, yield, yield this games. One? Yes, yield, yield games. Sure. I don't know where you even find these all these tokens. <laughs> look how many zeros are there. This that, doesn't look like the right, that doesn't look like the right chart. Hold on a second. Let's quickly just, just check here. YGG. No, it's not. The, the, the price of yield games is about $8. Oh, jeez. This one tanked. Whatever one they created there it just got destroyed. YGG. Tried maybe on trading view. Yeah, he has it here. Yield games. This one. Yes, see, that's game. the right Real one. Game. Eight dollars. There we go. Okay, it's just come off a pump. Um, so these are, you know, obviously, like we've been speaking, guys. So the best one of this uh, is we don't know where the bottom is. It can retrace as far as it wants to by the break of that trend. Quite simple. Jump to your eight hour, twelve hour. righty, let's just see any other super chats. Okay, cool. No super chats. I do want to share something with you. Uh, if you just give me one second. Just have we got 5,000 likes, guys? We nearly done the stream. Have we got 5,000 likes? We can give some some money. Do we have 5,000 likes? Fred, how many likes have we got? Link breaking for our resistance. What I love to hear. Link, Matic, on my bull, bull, uh, bull we've coins. Got, we've got 4,000 likes. Nearly there. Oh, unlucky. Okay, so I'm gonna, I want to just uh, play something for you, Sheldino. Um, Does it have sound this time? It's not just a bunch of naked men. It probably it probably, <laughs> does, it probably does have sound. Let's try this. Let's let's try this. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> Where you find the stuff, right? <laughs> Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Oh. <laughs> oh, <yeah>. Okay. <laughs>